Adversity Part 2. Race. Identity. Like, how does that impact me as an African-American founder? I, I, and the simple answer to that is I don't allow it to impact me. Like, I, I don't allow, you know, yes, absolutely. I go into a store. I go into a meeting. Maybe I'm being racially profiled. Maybe I'm not. But that's not something I, I allow myself. I, I don't waste my brain cells on that. The thing that I focus on is that God gave me an idea to execute. That he didn't give to Quaker Oats. He didn't give to Umqua Oats. He didn't give to anybody else. He gave it to me. And so this is a vision that he gave me to do something with. And that's my focus. Like, that's what this is about, building the biggest, the largest oatmeal brand in, in, in the country, in the world. Like, that's what this is about. And so I'm not saying, I'm not negating that uh, there aren't barriers to entry and these things don't happen. I know one company where, you know, they got turned down 176 times or something, something crazy by investment groups. I don't have, like, and I don't know, like, maybe... Maybe it's because she was black. Maybe it's because she was a female. I, there's a lot of different things that you can conjure up as to why something didn't happen. But I, I think that if you focus on those things, then you, you, you miss, you're missing the point. Like you're allowing yourself to be distracted. And, and one of the things that you absolutely need as an entrepreneur is hyper-focus. Focus on the goal. Focus on what you're trying to build. It's like the, the, that one movie, right? Uh, Fill the dreams, build it, and they will come. That's my attitude. Like, I, you know, yeah, I'm black. Like, so what? <laughs> like, so what? Like, let, let's, you know, let's, money is green. Like, let's make some money. And so what I would encourage you guys, like, just, just focus on what you're doing. Like, present yourself well. You know, be, you know, be prepared or be over-prepared, <laughs> rather, and, and that's really what counts because ultimately I, I'm a firm believer in this. Like your gift, what you're carrying is going to make room for you. But if you allow yourself to be distracted by all this other stuff, game over. You can, you can let it be part of your story or you can let it be the reason you do it. Oh, absolutely. Like, listen, at the end of the day, you... You walk into the store or wherever it is, you, you design this clothing line like they didn't take your meeting or they said no almost immediately. Nobody ever tells you that they're not doing it because you're black or because you're African-American or anything like you, you did your research, all of that. And then the person across the table from you says, hang on, I don't want a black guy on my payroll. Right. But they don't say that out loud. No. So all that to say. This woman that I mentioned that, you know, got turned down 176 times. She now has investments from Jay-Z and Rihanna. What would have happened if she would have just gave up? What would have happened if she would have just stopped and stopped trying because of all these potential uh, prejudices against her? She wouldn't be where she's at now. And I think that's the, that's the point, like... In, in spite of everything that's going on outside, in spite of, you know, the stories that you hear, like, oh, this person raised money and, like, I'm struggling. Like, it's, it's okay. Like, it's, it's part of the game. It's part of the story. I'll never forget when I landed my business partner. Uh, we were friends for a couple years prior to that. He was a mentor, uh, amongst many other things. And I remember he said to me, he said, hey, like, if, if I don't give you the money that you need, if I don't jump in right now, then what? <laughs> and listen, we needed this money. Like, it was a quarter million dollars that I, I was trying to get. Like, and what, what kind of question is that? I just said to him, I said, hey, like, listen, if not you, it's going to be somebody else. <laughs> and so we could either do this thing or, and I'm not being cocky. It's just like, but that's the attitude that you have to have. Like, that in spite of what happens, like, hey, I'm going to make this happen. And I think he respected my response because he's like, dang, like, <laughs> I don't want to miss this boat. 
And I think that's what that's how you have to be. That's how you have to look at all these. So all this to say, like, don't worry about injustices. Don't worry about race. Just keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward because now you're going to have an even greater story to tell.